Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mark and today I'm working on my Mustang. I want to do a couple of cosmetic upgrades to this thing, make it look a little bit different than stock. Uh, if you guys do like this kind of content, consider subscribing down below and that way you can see when I do more things. Now the first thing I'm going to do today is I'm probably going to take out these hood vents. I'm going to take them out and get them painted. That way I give it a little bit more of a pop. Being at the, the factory color right now, they kind of blend in and I'm going to change out the spoiler on the rear of the car, which I'm also going to have painted black. That way they match. All right guys, I want to I want to share this moment in my life that I never thought would happen. I'm finally going to get to use a 9mm. I don't know if any of you guys are mechanics or anything like that, but I don't know. I've been doing this since 2006, and this is the first time I ever get to use a 9mm. So let me show you what I'm doing. Right now I'm removing my little vents here because I want to get them painted. And this little bolt, or nut down here, sorry about my finger, that nut right there that holds on that little grill or vent is a nine millimeter let me show you look at this nine millimeter so it will actually be easier to do it on the other side that side's got a little thing foamy thing on it so, just go in here look at that nine millimeter look at that perfect fit I tried a 10, 10's too big. Try an eight, eight's too small. It's a nine. I'm just so happy right now. You, you just have no idea that I have all these nine millimeters sitting around and you know, they come in like every set that you buy even though nothing ever takes it. But now I finally get to use one. I'm gonna cry a little bit. It looks pretty ugly with the hood vents removed, but one upside is I can reach in there and adjust my suspension now. I don't have to actually pop the hood anymore. All right, so I'm gonna remove the wing in the back or a spoiler, whatever you wanna call it. And to do this is pretty easy. You just gotta remove all these little clips. I've already done that. There's like 13 of them, I think. Take the little panel off. And then there's four screws, one under there, and then two in the middle. And then once you take that off, there's, there's like some sticky 3M tape that holds it on. You gotta kinda of separate it, but you know, that's gonna be something that I'll have to deal with. It shouldn't be too bad, but hopefully it's warm outside. It should come off fairly easy. All right, so this is proving slightly more difficult than I had hoped, but it's not too horrible. Uh, once I kind of got it up, I just took the little plastic pry tool. Oops, I dropped it. Ew. I just take one of these little plastic, pr ah, I can't talk right now. So you can see where all the goo is underneath there. I just take the little plastic pry tool and I stick it in there and I cut the glue and then I just lift it up a little bit more and I'm just going down. Uh, I am going to have a lot of cleanup to do once I'm done, but this seems to be the easiest way to take it off. It's pretty warm outside right now. It's like 85, so it's really hot. I'm sweaty and this is coming apart fairly easy, so it's not too bad. All right, so I got the spoiler off. It wasn't too bad. It only took me like 10 minutes to actually do it. Uh, now comes the fun part and I got to come through and I got to clean off all this double-sided tape and goo and all that fun stuff. Uh, once I get that off, then I'll be able to put my new spoiler that I got over here. I know you guys saw it in an earlier video, but now it's all painted black. Look at that, so shiny. Oh, I didn't even show you. Look, I got the new hood vents in. Well, same hood vents, just painted black. So they're painted to match the spoiler over there. And once I get that on the back, it should look pretty good. I like how it looks so far. Come over here, say hi to Moose. Hey Moose. Oh, Moose is sleeping. As always, Moose is always sleeping. He's such a lazy dog. All right, so I did kind of a dumb thing. Um, this is the original spoiler I'd got for the car. And I went and I got it painted black without ever test fitting it. And this one does not fit on my car. So that sucks a lot and I'm out of a little bit of money, but if somebody wants to deal with it, they can. So the big problem with this one, flip it over, try to be nice, is the mounting holes are not in the right spot for me. I'll, none of them match up. Uh, they're actually too far, so this little lip right here is supposed to go over the back of the trunk. And when you put it on the trunk, the holes don't line up and it actually sits on top of the trunk instead of being behind it. So if somebody wants to go through and 
redrill some holes and put some nut inserts in there. Like, it would still work. It's still to the shape of the car, and it still looks good, but I got a different one. So, the other one was a GT500 style. This is more of a duck tail style, and I almost think I like it a little bit better. Like, I need to clean it up, but the holes on this one fits, and it has a nice profile, and I like the color of it. Um, I kind of test fit just to make sure it fits and make sure the bolts go in the bolt holes, which they do on this one. And what I need to do now is I need to put a little bit of the like cushion underneath it so that it doesn't quite wiggle this much. Uh, I'll probably put a little bit more on the back. That way it sits forward a little bit more and it sits flush. Like it's actually a really, really good fit for how cheap this one was. Like that one was a cheap one too. But this one seems to fit a lot better, so I'm gonna go with this one. So it's been a couple weeks now, I got everything done. So we can go ahead and take a look at the vents. And I think they look pretty good. I like how they turned out. I don't like that it rained and my car's a little bit dirty as you can see. A couple spots on there. I do need to wash this thing. But I also got the spoiler put on the back too. Everything looks good. Gives it a nice little more aggressive look. Makes it stand out. Doesn't look like every other Mustang on the road. Now, if you guys like what you saw, smash that thumbs up button. And don't forget, leave a comment down below. Let me know, do you like this? Do you not like this? Should I have done something a little different? You know, also let me know what you guys think about this spoiler. I really like the way that it turns out, but I don't know if I like the GT500 one better or not. I've seen it on another car and it does stick out rearward a lot more, but this one seems to stick out a little bit taller. I do like them both. This one fits, so I'm gonna stick with this one for now. But let me know what you think. Maybe later down the road, I'll put a GT500 one back on there. Well, not back on there, I got it over there. Or over here, it's broken, it's somewhere. I put it somewhere, I don't know where I put it. It's gone, maybe I'll get rid of it, I don't know. But hey guys, thanks for watching. I will see you next video.